how to become a successful YouTuber. That is the subject of this video. Now, when you think of people who are successful on YouTube, they, everybody has one thing in common. One thing, what's that one thing, guys? Consistency, and what I mean by consistency is all the top YouTubers especially, you can swipe to an infinite amount of posts all the way to the bottom to see where they started and see how they started, what maybe some of the equipment looked like that they started. Depends on who you're watching, right? There's been many YouTubers that have literally watched. And I was like, you know what? What's their first video look like? It's like think about Mr. Beast. Scroll all the way down to his, all the way down to his, and I was like, wow, there's that's what he was doing back then. Logan Paul. KSI, right? Those three people, because they're, you know, you, you get what I'm saying? Because they're working together? Whatever. Anyways, so you can scroll to the bottom to see exactly what they were doing, the ideas that they have, compared to what they're doing today. Is it similar? Is it the exact same? Is it different? Or is it just the same thing, but better? It's always the same thing, but better for the top YouTubers. People that fall in the middle, such as like how-to channels and things like that, you scroll to the bottom of their feed, they could, they could have been doing like anything. But the main YouTubers who do what they do, they all have that in common. They all have that in common for consistency. Doing exactly what they're doing, but better. So what does that mean for you? It means you're gonna have to improve on your content, but start where you are. Like I may not be a successful YouTuber at the moment, right? Doesn't mean that in a year from now, if I keep putting in the work, that I won't be a successful YouTuber. I think anyone who is, let's say, like right now I have 558 subscribers, right? So 558 subscribers right now. So from this exact video right now, let's say a year from now, I had 70,000 subscribers. To a person who still has 500 subscribers, I am a successful YouTuber. But of course, I'm like, well, I'm not like huge. I, like, uh, I'm only at 70. This guy over here is at 200,000. That guy over there is at 500,000. This guy over here is at a million. You see what I'm saying? Like the comparisons never end unless, until you're at the top and you're the, the biggest thing on YouTube, period. Then okay. Then yes, it, it'll be different that, at that time. Like, well, you know, I, can, I, I guess I can only have more subscribers. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you beat the game at that moment. It's like, all right, cool. You, you, you played the game for so long that you end up beating it. It's like, uh, it reminds me of, uh, I mean, I'm probably too old for this, but it reminds me of a game called Solitaire. You get so far into the game that you recognize patterns of how you could win faster. But you, it's ultimately it's because you've been playing it for so long that you find these patterns and get there. Even if I explained to you what the patterns were, you wouldn't be able to see those patterns right away even though I explained it to you. That's how YouTube is. YouTuber is like a big game of solitaire. All you gotta do is find out how to win, right? And the way to, way to win surefire is the way to win is to consistently keep going and to improve your videos. Improve them in little ways, in small ways. Clear example is iPhone. The iPhone 4, which is the first one I ever had, all the way to the iPhone 15 Pro is one that I currently have. It has went through immense changes. If I were to jump from the iPhone 4 all the way to the iPhone 15 Pro, I'll be astonished by the speed and the like all the things. I'll be so much more happy. But how did it get there? Over incremental changes over time is how we got there. Every year they'd seek to improve just one thing, better battery life. That's always been the subject of the matter. I need better battery life. And every year since the first year I watched has always been, we're getting better and better and better and better on this battery. It's the fastest it's ever been, every, every single time. It's always the fastest it's ever been. Because you got faster than last year, so it's faster than it's ever been, forever. And next year, 17, I guarantee you it'll say the same thing. 
It's faster than it's ever been. Most powerful thing we've ever seen in our entire lives. So, and the reason why is because of the fact that they've made incremental changes over time. They didn't try and jump from iPhone 4 to 15 Pro like that the next day, that, that same year, it wouldn't have never worked. There would have been so many different problems. Look at the Cybertruck. Cybertruck, they've literally jumped from being in car industry to try and just head first into the, into the truck industry. It doesn't work. There's so many problems and kinks to roll through, but there's, there's this huge automated system that he's trying to get to to be able to get there. And these incremental changes over time build up and compound and become what you want it to become. Think about it this way. If you got everything you ever wanted instantly, for one, you wouldn't appreciate it. And for two, even if you tried to appreciate it, you wouldn't know how to keep it because you got it all at once. People who blow up overnight usually flop later because of the fact they can't figure out how to sustain it. People that took so long to get there, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm finally here. To someone else watching from the outside inside, like, why is it this guy? This guy is, there's nothing, there's nothing like unique about this guy, just some guy. Well, scroll to the bottom. He's posted 4,000 videos. He's, po he's posted 2,000 videos. He's posted 1,000 videos. How many videos have you posted? 45, 50, 60? Okay, you're on your way to getting somewhere. You just gotta keep going, like me. This is my first month on YouTube, and what I mean by that is the first month that I've literally posted every single day just because I, I need to get it out there. And if I don't do it every day, I, I literally will lose track, and then I'll forget to post a video today, and today will blow by, and then I won't do it tomorrow, and then the next day, the next thing, next thing you know, it's a whole week blows by, and my other videos that I just thought weren't going to do nothing, now start doing well, then I start trying to keep up with the trend, I'm like, oh, uh, like, your channel will take off without you, there's literally a channel that I started that is, it's called, uh, I remember watching a video, they're like, if you really want to make some money, you know, those make of money videos, right, if you really want to make some money, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll start an automated, automated channel, to where you pay someone else over here to make the videos, and all you gotta do is post them on YouTube, simple, then you can get to the point where someone else posts it for you. Yo, yo, yo. Right? So I tried that. I did it for three months. Solid. I was posting all the time and got all these posts. I spent all this money. And I literally, like, I didn't, like, I, bro, I couldn't keep up with it. It was, it was an expense. It was, it was a bill per, per month. I was making no money. It was a bill per month, every single month. So I was like, you know what? I'm done. And I just let it, just let it do what it is. Let's let it sit there. Over time, by itself, it just started to go. That means if I had kept going, I would have seen the benefits of having an automated channel who knows how much money it would be making today, who knows where, how many subscribers it would be at right now. But I didn't trust in the system. I needed it now. The, the, the video I watched told me I could get it in three months, a month, as long as I was consistent. I, oh, I was consistent. I was like, why isn't it working then? Because nothing happens and everything happens all at once. Take that statement. Nothing happens all at once, but everything over time happens all at once. And on TikTok. I'm not really that consistent with TikTok anymore because I, I'm not really a fan of it anymore, which sucks because I loved TikTok at one time. And it was something, but ever since the federal government decided to ban TikTok, it's not been the same, unfortunately. So it is what it is, right? So you, not YouTube, so TikTok, my old video, I'm talking about a video that had less than 10,000 views started to blow up on the FYP literally a year later. Why? For what? Why? It's because the algorithm works on its own time. You got to understand, everybody's going to have their time. Everybody. I never, I didn't believe that statement when I first heard it. I was like, yeah, but like, uh, how come my, my, my channel over here is literally, uh, you know, like, I had all these excuses. I truly believe that now. Everybody will have their time. It's just not your turn yet. You keep your head down 
and you keep posting and you keep getting better at the videos you're posting, whether it's being to stay consistent, whatever it is, you need to post your videos as you do. Today they're gonna suck, yes. Your first 100 videos may suck. Your first 1,000 videos may suck. But I'll tell you this, you watch your 1,000th video or even watch your 100th video, compared it to your first video, you will see the differences in between them because over time, you got better. Over time, you just don't see it because you're living it. You're within it. It's like, uh, it's like going to the gym every day. You're pumping it, pumping it, pumping it. And someone else watching from the outside in hasn't seen you in months and now sees you like, dude, you were looking jacked. And you were like, oh, like, how come I'm not getting there? You're, you're, you're losing faith because you feel like it should be already happening, but you're not realizing that it's already happening. You just have to give it time. So yes, time, consistency, and self-realization of what you're doing will bring you success on YouTube. Will bring you success across anything, technically, but especially here on YouTube. You gotta understand, what's so, what's so beneficial about you and your personality? You're, are you really that funny? Are you really that entertaining? Are you really this, are you really that? Get all of that out of your head. Just post, right? That's the name of the game. Just post. No matter what you do, all you have to do is post. That's step number one, post. That's it. Try and get your keywords in your in your metadata, which is your, your descriptions. Thank God for chat GPT, you already have that. Let AI talk to AI, okay? Understand that, let AI talk to AI, okay? There's no need for you to sit there and type out all your words and yada, yada, yada. You can if you want to, if that's what you want to waste your time on, that's fine. I'd rather build my si myself up over time. I've lit, okay, you know what blew that up? Look, 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 remember? Remember what I told you about the YouTube channel that I tried to do the automated, I literally just said that, right? So that channel right there, I didn't write not one word, not the description, not the title, none of that. I literally typed in what I want, what I needed the uh, chat GPT to do and it produced the content out for me and I posted it on there and that's, you know what the most popular way for people to find my content at, on there? Well, it's not technically mine. It technically is mine because I bought it, but it's not mine as it's not me creating, it's not, it's not me on the, on the camera. The only thing that blew up on there is blowing up through YouTube search. So through YouTube search is how they're finding these videos. Because of the metadata, I have AI talking to AI. That's it, that's, that's the secret. A, let AI talk to AI, okay? Like, and one day, it won't even be me here. I will literally be an AI <laughs> and you will literally have AI talking to AI, okay? But I'm saying is, while it's still true and authentic and here, understand that the only way you can be successful on YouTube, no matter what you are doing, I've seen some very mundane, boring channels with a lot of subscribers. I'm talking about like immense subscribers. Like, like I look at these videos like, what are you watching? Why are there so many comments? Why is there so many views on this video? Who is watching these videos, right? There is entertainment to be found in the mundane. I know it sounds weird, but the more like watching paint dry it is, the better. It's weird, I know, I get it, it's weird. There's some movies that I really truly like like if you ever have any any uh, any time on your hands and you want to be just what am I watching? Watch about Schmidt. S C H M I D T. About Schmidt. It's with Jack Nicholson. That is the most mundane movie you will ever watch. It's not funny. It's barely entertaining. But something about it is so mundane that I enjoyed watching it and I've watched it multiple times. 
It's similar to uh, Napoleon Dynamite. It has that same complex of it's so mundane that you start to find humor in places that you would normally not find humor. That is how you blow up on YouTube, okay? Be you and who you truly want to be. If you want to bring a character, that character better show up every single day. If you want to bring your authentic self, same rules apply. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys comment down below, baby. Comment on my video. And I appreciate you. And I appreciate every single body, every single person that's made it to this exact point. Yeah, I'm starting to turn into a YouTuber because I am a YouTuber, bro. I'm, I'm going to embrace it. I didn't want to embrace it before. I'm going to embrace it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you have found value in my video, make sure you hit that like button. I'm out. Peace.